Today we're going to take the We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel punch board and we're going to look at some fun creative ways to use this tool for all of your DIY decor and gift making. Some of the ways that you can use the pinwheel punch board is for making really cute gift toppers. You can also use them to create interactive party favors for your birthday party, a wedding, or any holiday. These wands are also perfect for wedding and holidays, and you can also fill the tubes with confetti um, that you can throw. Instead of using a name card during the holiday season or special event, you can make a pinwheel and place the name inside on a tag to make it unique and festive for your guest. You can even layer the pinwheels on top of each other to give your gifts or decor that added dimension or texture. The pinwheel punch board is also the perfect tool to incorporate into your home decor. You can use it for holiday decorations, birthday parties, baby showers, photo backdrops, and so much more. So we're going to start by making this simple pinwheel that you can put on top of your gifts. The pinwheel punch board has the hole cutter and notch maker, the cutting piece as well, the swinging arm, and the guides. So what you do is you take your six by six piece of cardstock, put it into the tool, cut your holes and your notches first, then you have to find the size of your cardstock on the guide this being six by six, we're gonna find the six inch guide. We're gonna bring the arm down. You're gonna take your cutting piece and you're gonna put it on to the guide. And you're gonna make four turns all to the six by six. Once that's done, you can push the tool away and then you have this piece. So what you're going to do is I like to take the brad and put it through the center upside down because then it's easier for me to put it on the table and put the holes on top of the brad. Oops. And you just go all the way around until all the holes are inside the brad. Bend your brad down, and then you have this super cute pinwheel. When I did the present, I also added a foam, foam dot to the back of this, a button, and a jewel. You can also make a spinning interactive pinwheel as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the same process as we just did, cutting your six by six pinwheel. You're gonna use the We Are Memory Keepers attachments and the really cool thing about this is that you don't have to use the We Are Memory Keeper straws. You can use any decorative straw. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the attachment together like so. You can go ahead and put it on your straw. And then this is where instead of a brad, you're going to put the pinwheel attachment through the center. And then you're going to put the holes in there. And then you're going to take the top and put the top on to secure. What I like to do is it gets kind of bunched up so I like to bring the holes a little forward so that way it gives the pinwheel a little bit more dimension and room to spin. And for the example that I showed you, I also just used a craft confetti piece to put on top. And you can also use a button or a gold foil star, any type of embellishment that you have laying around, including rhinestones. Next, we're going to make these super cute wands. The great thing about these is that you can use these for any occasion. You can use them for wedding. Um, you can use them for a birthday party. And what I love about it most is the super fun sequins that are inside the clear tube. So you can put sequins like I've done here, or you could even for the holidays put snow in there, um, rice for a wedding. 
whatever, whatever you want inside the wand. So to make this, we have to do a double pinwheel. So in order to make that super cute wand, I've already pre-cut the metallic paper to do it with. Um, both of these are six by six. And what you're gonna do is you're going to start once again with your notch and your hole cutter. You're gonna cut each side. Go ahead and set that aside. Do the same thing for your other sheet. Then what you're gonna do is you're once again gonna find your guide. Now since this is a layered pinwheel, what you have to do is you have to use the A guide, which is this side here, to make your first pinwheel, because you want them to overlap. So you go ahead and you cut all the sides. And go ahead and set that one aside. Then grab your other one that you cut and now you're gonna go to the pink B side. And you're also gonna find your six inch there. And you're going to cut all of those as well. It creates a little bit different cut than the A side so that they overlap in a very cool way. Then what you do is you can take this and go ahead and set it aside. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your A side and you're gonna put it on top of your B side, like so, and then you're going to create kind of an off-centered pinwheel. So we put the pinwheels and the brad in the center. So now what we're gonna do is I like to take the shortest side and go ahead and feed it in, like so, every other, every other one and then go back around, grab the second one, putting them each on, onto the brad. Then you can secure that. After cutting the pinwheel and layering it, you can add um, a cute little die, car, die cut cardstock piece that has foil in there. Um, for your sequins, once you have them in the wand or confetti, whatever you wanna put in there, then you can start to build uh, your pinwheel wand what I did is I went ahead and I have this beautiful Hello Gorgeous tag. So you can just have put a foam dot on there and just put it right onto your tube. The next thing you'll wanna do is you wanna stick your pinwheel on the wand as well. So you just put a foam dot on there, take your foam dot off, and then you can kind of judge how, where your um, tag is and just make sure that that foam dot hits your wand and then you're all set. Now we're gonna make my favorite size pinwheel. This one is made out of 12 by 12 sheets of paper, so nothing has to be cut down. And these are the perfect size for putting on your wall inside your home and making, for, uh, making those nameplates that we were talking about earlier. So now we're just gonna take this 12, two 12 by 12 pieces of paper because that pinwheel is also layered as well. So you're gonna take your first 12 by 12 sheet of paper, no cutting necessary, love that part. You're gonna do your, no, your notch and your hole punch first again. And you're gonna go ahead and set that one aside just like we did with the, little, the smaller one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find on the A side, the white guide, we're gonna find the 12 inch, since we're dealing with a 12 inch piece of paper. And just like the other ones, we're gonna cut all four sides. And it doesn't, doesn't really matter either if it doesn't line up perfectly. It's amazing, this tool comes out perfect.
And then we can go ahead and set this one aside. And then you're gonna find your 12 inch on your B pink guide. And you're gonna cut all of these sides. Make such a cool thing. Then we're gonna do just like we did before where we're gonna move this aside. You're gonna put your B side that you cut last down first. Then you're gonna put your A side on top of that. You're gonna layer them together. And even for this one, I like to put the brad coming from underneath. It's just easier to get the, get the holes in there. When you're making your layered one, you also just have to make sure that you're putting each one, feeding each one together. And then you just start taking your flaps and putting them right on to your brad all the way around. And then you go ahead and secure your brad again. You can grab um, another die cut cardstock confetti piece and a foam square. Just put it right on there, right in the center. And then you can take this or you can put, put it on the back and put a name on it for a name card. The We Are Pinwheel Punch Board has all these different sizes. So what's great about that is you can take a pinwheel that's nine by nine and a pinwheel that's six by six and you can layer them for fun home decor pieces, gift making, birthday parties. The possibilities are endless.